So when we were looking at these caps, uh, we were going to get a normal one, but then we came across the one that's got the little extra headroom, so a pop-up. So we decided to opt for that option. Uh, a few things about it here. This is not a window. This is just for looks. Uh, kind of redundant. As you see, these screws kind of go down inside. That's another spot for water to get in. We started this journey with high hopes. and persevered through it all. We have traveled many miles, created many memories, and wouldn't change that for the world. We have been on the road for about... Um, three months. Three months? So about 12 weeks now. And uh, we just kind of wanted to update you on how we're getting along, uh, how our trip's getting along, things that we like, things that really grade us, things that were not so fun, um, issues we've come up with along the road. Um, things like that and the challenges yeah the challenges like one of the big challenges is um, we've been on the road for about 12 weeks now um, and besides making the videos together um, we haven't spoken two words to each other in like 14 weeks <laughs> but there are times when enough is enough We wanted to take some time out and do a, a special video um, because one of the things that we've experienced on the road in our uh, four plus months is something that I could say honestly I think we kind of lost faith in along the way but have since regained um, very strongly and that is the kindness of strangers. As you can see, the entire roof is saturated. We had a light rainstorm, nothing to write home about, but we realized everything felt wet. I said we've had some moisture problems, but this just got ridiculous. Cold. We've swapped over. I've been trying to dry the camp shell out now for 
I know just over an hour for Stephen's turn. So uh, we checked into a campsite and I don't know if we were allowed to do this. We're in the back of Tonto. We had to come in the back here because it is getting really, really windy outside. <laughs> so after pulling everything out to the back of the truck, we're both absolutely exhausted to try and find whatever it is that's got in, which we believe is a mouse, I've ended up uh, going into the back and taking any packet food we had out and checking that. The only other thing that we can do, well, I'll just have to wait till the morning, is uh, take all of these off, take the drawers out and uh, give it a really a damn good clean. gonna ring it out and see the wetness there. This is the third time. 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 As you can see, we're right in the back of Tonto again. Why? Because it's so windy outside the stove won't stay alight. So I've got to cook in the truck. So this is the showroom. Yeah, okay, so there's the look of what the uh, solar panel's gonna look like. Oh, okay. It is kind of small, isn't it? It's, yeah, I was expecting it I to know, be. I know, I always, you always picture something huge. And this, isn't this what we've got? Yeah, our So airbags. we've had our new airbags fitted. 
Tonto's next upgrade. So they do loads of different models. Yeah. For every single type of pickup. These are just slide-ins. Yeah, I think the majority, they are mostly slide-in, and then like the Project M, the one that we've got. is a newer model that's been around for like three years. So I want to go in and kind of like see how they've got it just to give us ideas on how we can configure the inside. Oh, look at this. Wow. So they can fit on models. any pickup truck. Yeah. They have tons of models. Oh, okay, so this one's slightly different because it's got the bed at the side. Oh, uh, yeah. A Man, side they seat. do get a lot in these, don't they? It's kind of like a little mini RV. It is. There's a lot of seating space and a bed. I could fit a whole family in that one. And this one's got um, slightly different Oh, yeah, slightly different. And the loo. Oh, yeah. And no trip would be complete without a trip to the loo. OK, let's go and take a look at the Project M. And while the finishing touches are being made to our new home, Dan was kind enough to take us on a tour of how each pop-up camper is made. Let's take a look. all those unpleasant memories of our old topper behind us. We are now ready to face whatever nature has for us. <laughs> 